Hi, I'm Stevie C and the Place to Be. I've designed another PCB, this time to show my voting intentions in the May 6th election. This design came about after the frustration at the lack of proper support during lockdown for live events workers, as you'll see from the hashtags. If you're offended by this PCB, it's probably best to stop watching now. More to the point, if you're offended by this sign, but not the behaviour of Tory politicians over the last year or so, then you're part of the problem. Anywho, on with the project. The PCB is the same in principle as the We Make Events PCB, in that it is two series strings of LEDs powered from two 40 volt mains via capacitive droppers. Once again, the project operates on 240 volt mains electricity, so please do not attempt to copy me unless you know what you're doing. We start with a 220 nanofarad film capacitor. This allows a small portion of current to flow on each half of the mains waveform. There is an inrush resistor which helps limit damaging voltage spikes. It will also act as a fuse should everything go wrong. The current limited AC feeds into four 1N4007 diodes, which are arranged to form a full wave bridge rectifier. This converts the AC into unsmoothed DC. Finally, we have an electrolytic capacitor to provide a smoother DC supply. There's also provision for one megaohm discharge resistors across all the capacitors. The power circuit is then mirrored on the other side of the board for the second string of LEDs. As usual, I'll start by soldering the low profile stuff, so the resistors and the diodes, then followed by the slow color changing LEDs, and then finally the capacitors. Now for the time lapse speaky bit. I've never felt represented by any one party. Having done several online quizzes, I've been aligned with the Lib Dems, the Green Party of Labour and the SNP, so make of that what you will. I'm all for renewable energy, but I'm against the banning of lead-based solder. I could fill an entire video with my idiosyncrasies. Anywho, having lived through the Tories' lies and corruption, not least their shambolic handling of the Covid pandemic and lockdown, I'm eliminating who I shouldn't vote for. I'm not declaring support for any one party here, which is probably not good as the elections in a few days. A simple Google or Bing search will educate you about the Tories' long list of failures, and it is a very long, depressing read. But for obvious reasons, I'm most concerned with their handling of the pandemic and their support for live events workers, or rather the lack thereof. Look no further than my local Conservative councillor Brazen Davy, claiming to support local jobs and businesses. I wrote to him on multiple occasions, all sent recorded delivery and all ignored. I've been blocked on every social media account he uses, just for asking him to show support and offer advice. Literally, all he and his ilk had to do was listen and show support for people like me. His silence on this subject has proven my point that he is not fit for office. Then when I get his propaganda in the mail about supporting jobs or complaining that the SNP aren't listening, it just boils my piss. At a national level, they've just spent about 16 billion on bonds, 5 billion on offshore tax evaders, 15 billion on non-existent or defective PPE, and about 40 billion on software that didn't exist. Meanwhile, we've had all the faceless profiles on social media turning caps lock on to say that we can't afford to fund live events. At a local level, we've had no messages of support, but about 20 tweets a day whining or outright lying about the SNP, most of them contradicting each other. We only have vaccines thanks to the Tories, but any problems with them are the SNP's fault, obviously. It's not as if we've remained silent. We've held multiple publicity campaigns, some of which I've been involved with, which you can see on my Instagram and also on my YouTube channel. That said, when the media is complicit in ignoring you and would rather criticise what Sturgeon or Corbyn ate for lunch than report on a national campaign, I have to start wondering what else they're not reporting. If the government and media had just listened to us and provided the support we asked for, 
I wouldn't have been angry enough to justify making this video. Instead, they effectively stuck their fingers in their ears, shouted la 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 I can't hear you for over a year, and now we're approaching election time and I'm assembling a PCB telling the Tories to fuck off. I really don't care who you vote for, as long as it's not the Tories, or for a party that want to remove equal rights for LGBTs, or use a jerk's colour chart to decide if you're worth being civil to. If you intend to vote Tory because you don't like Sturgeon or Corbyn or whoever, then that's like burning your house down because you don't like the curtains. If you intend to vote Tory because the tax evading tabloid told you to, then you really need to start thinking for yourself. Anyway, I'll join you in watching the LEDs gradually cycle out of phase with each other in a bid to reduce my anger. If you like this project, you could give it a like and a share. Equal way, you can thumb it down if you're offended by it. So don't vote Tory, and until next time, thanks for watching.